Live in Nashville, day three, SEC basketball tournament, and a big day, a lot happening here. We'll update you on that throughout the next four hours. But the number one seed in the tournament is uh, set to go home. That's a, that's the, the big story here. We uh, say hello to you, and uh, we're delighted to be here, and uh, the commissioner of the SEC will join us in a couple of minutes. We've had uh, country music stars. We had Jordan Davis on yesterday. We've had uh, basketball coaches. Right now, we begin with one of the hottest comedians oh, yeah. in the country. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, is is Bargazzi here yet? <laughs> <laughs> He's coming on next. He's on next segment. Uh, it's that John, Southern comedy is taking over. Everybody yeah. in the SEC knows John Chris, Leanne Morgan, and Nate Bargazzi. <laughs> John Chris is the name we're talking about. That was uh, the name on the tip of my tongue. There you go. I mean, you really are. Uh, thanks for being here. Absolutely. It's great to see you. Pride um, of, you know, we grew up together. Not probably the same era, but I grew up uh, in going to Sanford in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. You were an athlete. Paul Feinbaum is all we knew about. Really? There was no other trusted source except for you. And, uh, by the way, a lot's changed since you left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's so, you, a, so you went to Sanford on, on a scholarship? I went to Sanford. Well, I walked on. You walked on. I don't want to be fact-checked okay. the f at the first segment yeah, here. CNN just corrected yeah, me. Yeah, they go, nah, no. I walked on to the um, uh, Sanford tennis team okay. in uh, 2002. That's amazing. And I made my way on to scholarship. And uh, look at the Sanford athletics now, the yeah. basketball. I th do, I, do I take full credit? Not full. But you do notice that once I graduated, I mean, look at us now. And I, and I learned today that uh, somebody that I used to work with, you worked for him. Oh, yeah. Brad uh, Ray Dice. Who, who now Brad is a big. Brad Radice, baby. Yeah, that's what we call Yeah. yeah it's, I mean, uh, in Brad, Brad's a big, a big shot at Sanford. Yeah, big in that. I don't the, know what he does there, but he's a big shot. <laughs> Big in the state of Alabama, too. We so, used to work at CBS. Okay. Uh, every, everyone knows you as a comedian. Yeah. I mean, and, and you told me something which blew me away a minute ago. And I'm, you're, you're the son oh, yeah. uh, of a preacher man. I feel like I'm going to be a little offended by that, that you say you looked at me and you go, that blew you away. It did. Because I you mean, should I, look at me I, and go, oh, I assume. Look at the way he's. I, I, I would think this. Uh, I mean, I, I live in a community that <laughs> the most famous preacher in the world, uh, Billy Graham, oh, yeah. uh, grew up and his oh, yeah. son became a preacher. Yeah. <laughs> and you well, became a comedian. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing if you think about it. I mean, comedy <laughs> is a just little. It's a little different take <laughs> on the same issue. You look at the world and you don't like it. And you try to change it. Some try to change it through. Uh, you know, changing people's hearts and spirits. I come at it a different way, yeah. you know. Did you uh, ever, ever think about following? Uh, in preaching? Yeah. You know what? One time, a comedy, a church, I used to do comedy in churches a lot. I used to do. I, I bet that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do a lot of comedy shows in churches, and they, they I did a Saturday night show. Yeah. And they said, hey, our preacher is you sick, or, or can you stay and do tomorrow? And I did it. I did preached one time. That was my whole career. Was it? Did you? Did, I mean, like Joe Osteen. You know what? Joe Osteen, famous. Oh, yeah, Joe he Osteen. opens with it. He said, "I want to start with something start with the funny." Joke. Start with the I joke. I mean, they're never really that funny. It's like a knock knock or something yeah. from the internet. But will I? Let me say this: Will I be in heaven and somebody taps me on the shoulder and say, "Hey, the only reason I'm here is because I heard you preach"? I probably not. So probably not. Okay. <laughs> So what was the moment that, I mean, you knew you were funnier. I mean, I thought I was hilarious in grade school, and oh, look yeah. what I ended up doing, being a sports analyst. Depends on what you're, yeah, you got a lot of funny people on here. When did I know that I was yeah. going to be a comedian? Oh, man, I think at the frat house at okay. Sanford University. I was I mean, a pie cap of five. you always like cracking on people? Always. We'd sit on the porch. I didn't drink in college. We sat on the porch, <laughs> and all the frat brothers would come home. The operative word in college. Yeah, in college, yeah. And by the way, uh, I had a good run there for a little a, bit. A Baptist university. I don't think they they were they uh, thought it was a good idea to be drinking. In nah, college. small Baptist Christian school, which is now in the NCAA tournament. It's a miracle. But yeah, there wasn't too much. You had to drink. Uh, you know, you had to have the vodka in the Sprite glass. That's <laughs> what the, that what was going on at the small Christian college back in uh, 2003. So. While you were sober with your sober frat, <laughs> by the way, is that uh, is that not oxymoronic? Hilarious, yeah. <laughs> but but I I I know Sanford well. My, yeah, my yeah. wife grew, uh, grew up around the corner, and so when did it? When did you know? Okay, man, I'm, I'm pretty funny. Well, I think they they I would do these like uh, these like fraternity. It was like a talent show or something like that, and they told me as a pledge. You know, you pledge, you have to do what they say. Sure. So they said you have to roast all the brothers 
And I go, I have to? They go, you have to. I go, all right, that's my assignment, and I did it. And I had the full permission to go after right. everybody because they told me I could. And, we're talking, and, and roasting is, I mean, it's serious burn. Oh, yeah, we, I crushed them. I go, the, but y'all told me to do this, so I'm kind of off the hook. There's a couple of guys that didn't talk to me for the rest of college, but that's what that's what I credit my start uh, to the Pi Kappa Phi House on Salter Road. Was that when was that moment that, that you or did, did the crowds ever bother you when you went out and did even small groups? I mean, oh, yeah, doing pretty big ones. Oh, yeah, all the time. Do people ever yell at you here? Yeah, but you get I mean, <laughs> it's, it's different. Uh, I mean, this is my natural inhabit yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. I, I have gone i have been at big events you know thousands of people yeah and when they tell you to be funny and right on spot. I, I, I had i had this happen once they said we want you to we, we you were here last year yeah we thought you were great but we want you to tell jokes so i went to some friends who were joke writers oh yeah and you, uh, tell me stop me if you've ever heard this one i'm ready for it Let's the guy it. he wrote for uh for leno okay he said this is the best joke i've ever written <laughs> And I gave it in front of two, and there, you know, there wasn't a laugh. No, nobody laughed? No. That's tough. The, where do you go after that? Where do you go from there? Because I mean, that happens yeah. all the time. And it, yeah, because if you're, if you're just trying to deliver a speech and you get laughs, that's like an added bonus. Yeah. But, but when, when you, you say when you're, you're here you're a comedian for laughs. And you don't get laughs. Tough. The funniest joke I ever heard was uh, Jeff Fox, where they told it to me. I was on a show with Jeff Fox where he said, you might be a redneck, if your son's name is Dale Jr. and your name's not Dale. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is That's not my joke. That's yeah, not my that joke. That is funny. That's a you can't go wrong with that joke, no. dude. I, I, and I, and I, I think he is one of the most unique. I mean, we've had Jeff Fox really meet him a couple of times. Oh, yeah. And, uh, he, he's he's unbelievable. Me, he's told me the story about being on uh, Late Night when, yeah. when you only have five and a half minutes. Oh, yeah. And then... Your first joke is so funny; they laugh for thirty seconds, and you, then you're you're completely you out of math laughing. in your head. Yeah, you do because you got five and a half some minutes. How, what are those things like for you? Because I mean, you're now doing pretty much everything. I mean, yeah, we've been. I mean, when you do comedy on TV, it, they have it. They have a specific amount of time for you, so you go exactly like that. If you get a big laugh, or you do some kind of. Uh, something off the cuff or you riff on something you're trying to do math in your head or like all right well minus that joke i mean every show we do we have a time clock down there in the bottom that says hey wrap it up and if the crowd is on fire you'll only get through half of your material and they're like you got to go so john how much depends on the part of the country you're in i mean you, you, oh, great you have to tailor I mean, you're, if you're in georgia you can tell yeah. football jokes but if you're in new hampshire uh, lacrosse. Yeah, I mean, what are you I, making I, fun of up there. Yeah, it depends on it. Well, politically, there's a lot of right. differences if you go to Portland versus Birmingham. Right. Uh, and then, yeah, different. If you make a joke about Steve Spurrier in Washington, they're not gonna. They're like, yeah. what? But if you make that joke in Gainesville, funny. Hell, <laughs> 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 you just got to do your homework a little bit. Yeah. Where would be the best city to roast? you in probably all of alabama yeah i you think did. uh i think birmingham would be, would yeah. be pretty safe <laughs> they know you in birmingham right around the corner from where you went to college oh yeah big uh, paul so feinbaum area 100 so, um as you're when you, when you walk out yeah you're are you studying the audience as you're walking out there looking around i mean you're thinking of your material but you're also oh, trying yeah. to what are you doing well i think you gotta uh what the key is a little trick the inside trick is uh Usually the comedy show you have openers. Okay. So you have a two or three openers. Are and you, you listening? Yeah, you listen. Not to what they're saying. You know that you You're listen to, to the what crowd. they're laughing at. Yeah. So, and it's funny. You make a joke about uh, the, the cities that are more, like, politically correct or, or right. language is a little bit more protected. It makes it comedy easier. Okay. Because you have to cross the line to be funny. Right. So do it down. You do a joke down in Montgomery, Alabama. They were like, yeah, we talk like this. You do a joke in where the speech is a little bit more protected. They're like, oh, I can't believe you said that, which makes it better. I, I mean, do you do you poke at the audience at all, or is that risky? Oh, yeah. Uh, depends. Dep you got to do. I mean, you don't want to see, like, some guy in the audience with his wife and then. Oh, yeah. And then just go after him. <laughs> or <for> her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Usually, they, the, anybody that we would ever go after, and that's a lot of the popular clips on TikTok and Instagram right. is you see somebody getting themselves into some trouble right. but you i always try to they would have to self-identify as wanting to be part of the okay. show 
So I say, hey, does anybody raise your hand or make some noise if you, and they say, hey, I'll be a part of this. And but then you know by, by the openers whether the crowd, I mean, I mean crowds oh, can the be crowds dead, into it. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, but although I don't know why you would go to a comedy club or a comedy show and not want to have fun. That's what I've been asking for years. <laughs> I go, you don't, win, you don't win by having your hands crossed here. Yeah. But yeah. usually you, you want to hear the crowd dark. So yeah. You don't want to see anybody. You just want to listen. So if you do a joke about a certain topic and they're like, nope, then. So when you walk, I mean, how good is your opening routine? I mean, the beginning, is, it, is that important oh, yeah. or, do you, or, or is it more building? You would do something that's like for everybody, like a very, if you're right. going to have any risky jokes that might be like divisive, make sure you get them on your, on your okay. side first. But something like, you ever had like a thought that you're like, you ever been driving on the road, you see that cyclist, you're like, I wonder if I just like, mm. Like, that's, everybody gets that joke. Everybody will laugh at that because everybody's had that thought before. How and much of take uh, it from your own, uh, I mean, how much, the, whether, it's, whether it's accurate or not, I yeah. mean, how much of your life is, is, is part of what you're talking about? Oh, 100%. Okay. I always say the joke is, uh, the, the show is 100% real and 100% made up. Okay. So it's all, was my dad a pastor? Yeah. Was I homeschooled? Yeah. Did we grow up in church? Was I from Birmingham? Would I grow up in Atlanta? Was I homeschooled? All those things true, but did my brother launch me out of a tree onto the trampoline into the neighbor's pool? That was probably a, a combination of a couple different stories. I, I realize this sounds very cookie cutter, but is there is there one or two things that audiences really do like to have fun with? Uh, oh yeah, they everybody always likes to make fun of uh, like hypocrisy okay. right so like you see one thing and it's actually the other whether that be politics right. social media dating is, is politics a, because this is so uh, can, is that is that something that it's better to stay away from or not uh, or, or is it where you are depends on what politics yeah uh, yeah you would you kind of take it for both sides because i voted for i'm just kidding i know <laughs> because i mean you can't lose on that can't you yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, you can lose 100 percent on uh, politics. Yeah. Depends on what side you take. Yeah. yeah. If you go like, right like, or like left. Kimmel the other night at the Oscars, he came back. He's that divisive. Hmm? Not nah, just kidding. That yeah, last yeah. joke. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, it was funny to the uh, it, to the audience in the room. Yeah. But it was also not on TV. But it, I guess he didn't. I guess when you're Jimmy Kimmel, you probably don't really care, do you? Uh, well, you do. You look at the ratings okay. for sure. Yeah, and you could. It's everybody's like if you go, uh, if you take out it in form like a general, where everybody sees a certain thing. Okay. Maybe you're not making fun of like a certain uh, like a candidate, but you are making fun of because okay. everybody sees politics and is frustrated by right. it for sure. That's what makes it better. Yeah. So talk, let's talk about what's what's next for you. Oh yeah, baby. You go into the, uh, depends on the selection show, where Sanford is placed. Okay. I'm just kidding. You talk about my comedy career. This has been a blast. Absolutely. You, you, oh, you were the opening act for the commissioner of the South. No joke. Sankey's coming on? He'll be here in a second. I'll warm up the seat for him. There Guys. he is right there. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, brother? When you see that, it's time to it's time for the comedian to wrap it up. It's time to go. Yeah, he got no time. Oh, yeah. Thank nah. you very much. John, Absolutely, really. Paul. What, what Honored to have you. The comedian John Chris, so much fun. The commissioner of the SEC, straight ahead.